In this episode of the Cap Cut series, I'll be showing you how to use keyframes within your videos. You may think life is good without keyframes, but let me tell you, it could be better. So let's jump into this tutorial. So for this demonstration, I have this video here of me walking with a gimbal. And what we're actually gonna do is have an arrow track me here and kind of follow behind me. So a way we can do this, First, let's get the sticker in here. So I'm gonna open up stickers. I'm gonna go over to the arrows and we're going to select an arrow. So I'm gonna go with this red one here and use my fingers and reposition it just so it's pointed behind me. For some reason, we're just gonna have this arrow follow me. So I'm gonna click the check mark. We're gonna extend it for the full length of the video like so. There we go. And now what we're going to do is keyframe animate this. So if you look in this corner here, there is a keyframe option. That is what this weird diamond thing is. So what we're gonna do is click, and that's gonna place it down. If you actually look down here, you'll see like this diamond shape. That means we place the keyframe. Now what that does is that it basically allows you to make changes from one point to another point. So what we're gonna do we're gonna just gonna scroll ahead on the timeline just a little bit to right where I'm moving. So there I am moving. And what we're actually gonna do is take my finger and I'm going to click the keyframe button again. And I'm gonna move the arrow right behind me, okay? And we're gonna scroll ahead some more. Looks like I'm losing the arrow a bit. So we're gonna turn it a little bit and move it forward. There we go. You'll notice I even clicked the keyframe button and it automatically placed it. Scroll ahead some more. Eh, we'll put it a little closer. There we go. As soon as you move it, another keyframe's down. Scroll ahead some more. And we're gonna move it up here. And we kind of lose it at the end almost. Um, so we're gonna move it there. Now, you'll notice we have a whole bunch of keyframes here. So now, when we click play, this arrow is actually going to follow us around because we've added those keyframes. You'll even see it curve up a bit because we did that. Now, another way we can use keyframes is for zooming in. So if I click on this clip and I place a keyframe, I could scroll ahead a little bit and then place a keyframe and then just pinch to crop in right on me. And what that'll do is move from one point to another point. So when I go back, it's zoomed out. And then it's gonna go to where I made the changes. So when I click play, it's gonna do a zoom in, and then it's gonna stay zoomed in. So you can use keyframes even in that aspect to control zoom and objects. So there's a lot of use cases for keyframes where you can use them within your projects. Now be sure to learn the rest of the effects within our CapCut series by clicking on this playlist right here. I've got tons of videos showing you different effects you can make within this video editor. And I hope to see you guys over there in some more of my videos. Thanks for watching.